Hey everyone, uh, Salesforce Shorts here. In this video, we're just going to talk about importing and exporting with uh, Data Loader. So yeah, we'll get straight into it. Um, I'm going to use the Salesforce Inspector for this. And so this is just like a Chrome extension, uh, pretty simple. Uh, just click Add to Chrome and refresh your Salesforce and you'll see this little arrow thing pop up on the right. So from here, um, I'm just going to open up data import in another tab. And you'll see we get options for account. There's also insert, update, upsert, and delete. So you can do any of these. Um, yeah, so this, this is a really easy and simple way to do it. I'm just going to go to my accounts. As you can see, I've got a whole lot of accounts here. Maybe what I'll do is we'll create a new contact. Yeah. So for contact, the main required field that we need is just a last name. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put type in here last name, put the test um, contact one, and let's just create. Let's do a few. We'll do like yeah. All right. So we've got three hundred and thirty nine there, and let's just use another field. Uh, maybe we'll use. Let's have a look. Let's use phone. Okay. So I'm just going to put in phone there and then let's put in one, two, three, four, five, six, and we'll make this one, two, three, four, five, seven. And let's just go all the way down. All right, perfect. So I've got a last name and phone. So I'm just going to copy this. Then if you want to do your imports, um, just click data imports, click paste. Um, oh, okay, yep. So just change that to contact so that you've got the correct object. Um, if there's any errors, you're going to see it on the right hand side. And yeah, so it tells you exactly how many you've got. Uh, next step is just click import and it's going to import it for you. So it tells you here how many succeeded and it'll tell you if any of them failed. So all of them succeeded. Let's just go into Salesforce quick and just make sure that we've got them. Um, Alrighty, so yeah, as you can see, no, actually, that's not it. Uh, da, 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 da. So for contacts, um, you can see that we had 69 recently viewed. What I'll do is, let's just change this around. Yeah, we, okay, cool. So as you can see, our contacts basically start from here. So we've got test contact 64, 63, all of those ones down there. So as I'm scrolling down, I just want to see. So we've got 409 contacts in the system at the moment with all those contacts that we just inserted. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back into my data import. I'm going to copy the Excel sheets for all of these here. Um, open up a new little tab and paste this in. Then I'm just going to grab this ID column for what I just inserted. Now I'm going to say delete. Okay. So I'm going to paste in the ID column that I had and just remove the underscores before it so that we've just got the ID. So now it's got 338 contacts there. I'm just going to hit import and this will delete all of those contacts that I just created. So yeah, that's a nice easy way to um, delete contacts as well. So at the moment, I've only got 71 contacts now because I deleted all of those ones. Another cool thing you, you can do from here is do a data export. So if I wanted to get rid of the rest of my contacts, I can just um, do select ID from contact, click um, export and copy this. And we'll do pretty much the same thing we just did. Just paste it in there, copy the ID, go back to data import, contact delete, paste it in here, and let's hit import. Um, so yeah, this is a pretty good example as well. You can see most of them got deleted. Um, a few of them do have errors though. Um, you attempted to delete. Okay, so so these people are actually associated associated to cases. So to, to delete these contacts, we'll have to remove them from the cases. I will leave them in there for now anyway, just so, so that I've got a few contacts still. But yeah, as you can see now, we only have 15 contacts in here and all of that test data is deleted.
Uh, if you found this video helpful, please, subs please subscribe and check out our other videos. Thanks.